The purpose of this video is to go over the instructions for the annotated bibliography. Uh, so in general, uh, this is a group exercise. The goal is that you find several peer-reviewed research articles that were published in the last 24 months. So um, if you, uh, as you do it as a group, each individual will find approximately five articles per person. So if you have five people in your group, then that means you need to find 25 articles to complete the assignment. All articles should be uploaded to D2L in PDF form. No links. Um, Word documents are okay if the article came that way, um, but no links. I'm not going to another website to figure out what article you had. They should all be downloaded and then uploaded into D2L. They should also be named according to the instructions below, and I'll tell you that in a second. Uh, the articles, really in general, what articles are you looking for? You're really looking for articles about your dependent variable or your DV. So that could be something like depression, anxiety, stress, alcohol use disorder, uh, something along those lines. Um, how many of how many of the articles should you find or what should be in those articles? So one, you should look for articles that have general characteristics of the DV. So it might talk about populations, it might talk about the prevalence, what causes the problem, what prevents the problem, what are the consequences of the problem. And so I'm, I'm saying this little squiggly line means approximately. So approximately maybe 30% of the articles will have that information. The other thing too is you might have a criteria for the DV, right? A definition for the DV. So this might be an assessment tool. Um, you might find one article for that. So for example, if your DV is depression, you might find the Beck's depression inventory or the PHQ-9 um, that might talk about it. But you also want to define the DV. So if you're defining the DV you're pro and it's depression, say, you probably want to use the DSM-5 to define it. Um, the, another thing is effective treatment for the DV. So that you're, you need to find some articles that say, you know, CBT group therapy actually resolves or reduces depression, something along those lines. So you want the, you, that's what you want the article to say. Not that they examined CBT with depression, but eventually they found that it didn't work. You really want to find what, what intervention, what treatment, or what IV, independent variable, um, reduces your DB. The other thing that's really important is that you should find articles that talk about NASW, the National Association of Social Workers, or CSWE, the Council on Social Work Accreditation. Um, so you want to know why social workers should care about this issue. You should cite the Code of Ethics in the paper, so you want to also find that document. Um, the other thing is you want to look for articles that talk about the implications of uh, this kind of work or this sort of research, and you specifically want to find things that relate to theory, practice, research, and policy, um, because all of this information is what you're going to have to write in the final paper. So you're so you're looking for those articles now, um, and again, you want to upload every article to D2L, the assignment folder, and you want to name the articles like this: first author's last name, year of publication, keywords to summarize the article. It doesn't have to be the title. Sometimes the titles are quite long. So an example might be Red K 2018 in parentheses relationship addiction. Um, any articles that are not named that way, you don't get credit for them. So it has to be named that way and there has to be the, the PDF document. Again, any links will receive zero credit. The other thing that you need to do is as you're reading the article, and you don't have to read the whole thing, but scan it, but why did you pick this article? Why did you put it in your annotated bibliography? So you want to highlight in yellow the evidence. So for example, if you pick the article because they mention NASW or CSWE or the Code of Ethics and that's why that this topic is important, then you want to highlight that in the article. Absolutely do not highlight every paragraph in the, in the paper. You want to highlight one sentence, two sentences, three sentences. Um, you know, there should be very few specific things that you have highlighted. Another example of something to highlight would be if you found an article that said that CBT does effectively reduce depression, well, you want to highlight the sentence that says, you know, hey, this does um, reduce depression. There are some examples here of what some good DVs 
um, that you can pick. The DV must be approved first. Um, and then this gives you an idea of sort of what should be in the annotated bibliography. But let me jump down here to the example. So you should have, this is a proper APA reference. It's a proper APA reference because you have, one, the author names, two, the year of publication, three, the title of the article, the full title, four, the journal name, which you should note, it is italicized, the journal should be italicized, the volume or issue, and then the uh, DUI link. Uh, sometimes with the volume or issue, there's two different numbers. You can also include page numbers here. The DOI link, if I click on this right here, that should open up directly to that publication. So that is how the DOI links work. Um, and then what you do is you do a quick summary, um, about 100 words, of that article. You can get some of the information for the summary from the abstract of the paper, but absolutely do not copy the abstract as is. So um, the, the proper APA references is here in the instructions. The pop, proper summary is here. So what makes this a very good summary is that it includes a clear purpose, what the purpose of the study is. The purpose of the study was to examine if the intervention was effective to treat substance use disorder among veterans. So it tells you the IV, it tells you the DV, and it tells you the population. And so again, purpose, dependent variable, in this case it's alcohol, cannabis, opioids, and stimulants, or substance use disorder. The independent variable intervention, which is this complicated version of CBT. Um, the population is veterans. They also indicate the setting eventually. It's a 28-day substance use rehab program um, affiliated with the VA, okay? So that is your setting. It also indicates very clearly what the results are. So it says right here, participants were significantly less likely to have a positive drug screen um, during treatment. Um, this article showed that CBT was effective to reduce alcohol and cannabis use, but not effective to reduce opioid and stimulant use. Um, a few other things, the, AP, the, um, the annotated bibliography assignment should absolutely have a title page. Follow APA rules for that. You can get that from the Purdue OWL website. And you, in addition to this reference here and the summary, at the end, you complete a full reference list as well. So it may, theme, it may feel sort of duplicative because you're putting in the reference in two places, but that's the instructions for how to do an edited bibliography. Okay, all right, thank you.